Yep. Okay, here we are so far. I have exhaust manifolds, keepers, uh, motor mounts, intake, all on, and I feel pretty good about it. Sometimes on these things I've used more goop, less goop, sometimes no goop. I managed to, I think, get enough goop between all these services that it's gonna work. Now the trick of this is gonna be, this is a, an Edelbrock RPM air gap manifold. So it will breathe right for the RPM range this motor is capable of, but it is bigger and has some things in different orientations. So what I need to figure out is how to take the stock uh, water temperature sender, which used to live in this little block thing, and get it out of there and put it probably there, but I guess I could adapt it and put it there and then block off the hole. The main concern though is this. Now this is a power brake um, vacuum hose, so there's a place on the back of the manifold that screws into, but I am very concerned that where that sticks out, it's going to whack that firewall or it's going to be super close. So I probably need to go ahead and get that in. That way it's, uh, I don't have to, I know I won't have room to tighten it into the manifold. So lots of stuff that I need to make sure is already on the engine before I get it in there. Uh, I did change to the shorty oil filter. You know, it's coming. We're working. Okay, let's keep at it. definitely still hitting on something back there. Is it hitting on something in here? Well, I don't know. It could be anything. That's the problem. So it could be where the four speed shifter goes through. It could be something hitting the tunnel. I don't see any of that hitting anything weird. Aha, clutch fork. Yep, it, so this has to go way up again and then over and in. All right, that's why, clutch fork. Here we go. You know what, Oliver? We're super close. I'm coming way down. You ready? Yeah. There we go, okay. Trying to get these motor mounts to line up with these holes, which is super important. doing now are tightening the last three motor mount bolts. Man oh man, that is a lot of fussy adjusting of the transmission and the car and the engine and the transmission and the car and the engine in and out and around. And I still don't have the, the uh, transmission cross member on yet, which I need to do. But now I can, it, the engine's back in the car. Like, this is great. People in the Tiger community that had said, yeah, you might want to just leave that water pump off before you get it back in the car. Nah, it's fine. No, that would have made it a lot easier. So now, Griffin radiator will go in. Fan, 
generator, distributor, EFI. There's a lot of stuff still to do, a lot. But the engine being in the car, and I'll get that transmission cross member back in, get the drive shaft back in. Um, there's a lot. I think we covered a lot of ground um, today. My son Oliver helped me again, so huge. <laughs>